guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm going to be filming for you guys a book on haul video and I'm trying to get more and more rid of the books that I have that I just don't think I'm ever going to read and I've got a pretty good group here with me today. Um, the one disclaimer I want to mention about these books is that although I can't send all of them away to you guys, I'm actually considering doing like a book trade thing. Um, I've been seeing it on Twitter and I did a book trade recently with Shannon from The Leaning Lights and I, I enjoyed it. So And I also did one with Brianna from Bree's Bookish Confessions too. So if you guys have any like recommendations on good areas that I can go to or good places that I can go to to like do, do like book trades, um, I would think I would be interested in it. Um, but most of these books, I think that at some point I want to read them. I just, I don't have the room on my shelves right now. And so I'm going to put them in storage or um, trade them if I can. So a lot of these books, they're just books that aren't on my immediate TBR. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first book that I have that I'm going to be getting rid of is The Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher. Now this book made its way on booktube like a long time ago because Reagan really really enjoys the series and so does Jenny. Um, but when Sarah and Lindsay read it and they both kind of were meh about it, I decided that this isn't something that I was particularly interested yet now. Um, I actually picked up the first book in the Dresden Files Stormfront here yesterday and I'm going to be hauling it for you guys but um, I think I enjoy that one a little bit more than I enjoyed this one so I am considering this keeping this. I'm not 100% sure yet but I'm definitely going to put it to the side. The next book is The Reader by Bernard Schlink and my mom got this for me. I think it's because she saw the bit movie and she really enjoyed the movie and she thought that I would like the book. This is a World War II story between two characters. One is very very young and he has an affair with his teacher or an older woman I believe and then later on she is taken to court for war crime. Um, I've heard good things, I just, I'm not really interested in it right now. To go along with World War II theme, I'm also going to be putting away The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. I, for some reason, just never think to pick this up. And I've heard it's heartbreaking, um, and I really just don't think that I need to be reading something heartbreaking right now. The next is going to be Wool by Hugh Howey. I have read actually a good chunk of this, and then I put it down for some reason. This is a very, very popular uh, book. Hugh Howey uh, originally gave these books, or um, sold these books for free on his website, or he gave the audio, I'm sorry, the um, ebook links for free, and it did so well that they ended up publishing them. And there's three volumes, I believe there's Wool shift and silo or something like that. Like I said, I really enjoyed these. I just don't think that right now I want to read them, so I'm going to put it to the side. Next is going to be Cutting for Stone by Abraham Verghese. This was recommended to me by Max from Eldon Books, and I actually do want to read it. I just, um, there's a lot of other books that I want to read right now, so I'm just going to put this to the side. Next is going to be another book from Max, which is going to be The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Um, This one is the copy that Max sent me for my birthday, and I ended up getting a hardcover copy of it because I was just having such a hard time reading from this particular copy. I don't know why Scholastic makes just terrible paperback, but I, I think I'm going to keep this for sentimental value, but um, I'm going to put this particular edition aside. The Forsaken by Lisa M. Stassi. This is another book that made its rounds on booktube like a year ago, and although everyone mentioned that the world and the, it was amazing, this dystopian world was amazing, everyone went on and on and on about how they all hated insta-love, and I'm not about that life, so I would probably, the insta-love would probably ruin this for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Next is going to get me some heat probably, but that's going to be The Darkest Mind by Alexander Bracken. I actually made a good way through this one as well, and then I ended up putting it down. I'm not actually sure why I put it down, but I just didn't end up finishing it. And the general consensus, in my opinion, is that as the books progress, that people didn't really care for them that much, so I just don't think I'm interested in finishing it. The Diviners by Libba Bray, and this is a hunk of a book, and some people really love it, and some people really don't like it, and I just don't think I have the time to commit to reading this whole thing if I'm worried that I'm not going to like it. Next is going to be this edition of The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I really don't like mass market paperbacks, uh, so this is why I'm going to get rid of this, but I do want to eventually read the trilogy in a different edition. The same goes for this edition of The Handsmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. Atwood, I really want to read this book. I just don't want to read it in this edition. The next two are going to be Burn for Burn and Fire with Fire, both by Jenny Han and Simone Vivian. These are both like a little bit 
magical realism contemporary and I just um, I've read quite a bit by Jenny Han and I, I go back and forth on her so I don't think I'm going to read these anytime soon and if I want to I think I'm going to read them using Scribd because they have all the books on Scribd so I think I'm going to do that instead and this is just free up some uh, room on my bookshelves although I really love these covers I just don't think this is something that I'm going to want to keep anyways. The Way of Shadows by Brent, Brent Weeks. Uh, Brent Weeks is a really popular I believe he's a grim dark author if I remember correctly he may not be I could be wrong but um, I really want to read this I just don't think I want to read it in this edition. White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Um This was gifted to me by actually a really wonderful friend of mine and I've tried to read this countless times and I just can't get into it. I think that this I just don't get along very well with Jennifer L. Armentrout's books. I have I have given gotten rid of several of her books and I even still have the whole Lux series by her that I'm like debating on whether I want to read or not but I started reading this and I just could not get into the writing style of, her, of it. It's just it was really bugging me so I just I gotta let it go. Passenger by Andrew Smith. This is the second book to the Marbury Lens. Now I have the Marbury Lens and I'm still going to keep it because um, I, I really want to read it. I just I don't see any point in keeping the Passenger if I haven't even read the Marbury Lens yet. Plus my copy of the Marbury Lens is in uh, paperback and this is hardcover so I just don't like how they don't match. If You Find Me by Emily Murdoch. I actually think that people generally like this book. I just don't like the cover so... Tender Morsels by Mar Margot Lenigan, and I got this on the recommendation of Katie from Chapter Stacks, and then she read it and she didn't like it, so that kind of told me that I was probably not going to like it either. This is a like retelling, a uh, fairy tale type retelling, or it's like fairy, it's like a reimagined fairy tale, but apparently there's like bestiality in here and stuff, so that's cool. Fragments by Dan Wells. This is the second book in the Partials sequence by Dan Wells. And I read the first book and I actually made it to 265 in this book. Um, and then I stopped. Apparently that's a running theme for me. I just, I stopped for some reason. Um, I actually really was enjoying this one and the only reason I'm going to put it away is because they have the whole trilogy on Scribd and ruins the last book in the trilogy sequence whatever is on Scribd so I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. This is actually a really interesting um, like sci-fi dystopian-ish type book and I really enjoyed it and I actually think that people would enjoy this book but I just don't want to keep it on my shelves right now because it's a hunk and I don't see myself finishing it anytime soon. And then finally is going to be Berserk by Michael Grant and I I've only ever seen one person talk about this book and she doesn't even make videos anymore so um, I picked it up because she really really liked it and I really really liked her um, explanation of the book but I've tried to pick it up a couple times and I didn't really enjoy it so put it to the side like the rest of these books. So yes those are all the books I'm going to be putting aside for now or unhauling. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to do with them. I just needed the shelf the, the shelf room. Again if you guys have any um, like recommendations or anything for like book trading websites or book swing swaps or Twitter swaps or whatever please let me know down below because I'm really interested in doing potentially doing that because a lot of these books are actually like recent type books that people would actually really enjoy. Um, but other than that guys, thanks so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.